Hello and welcome back to Harvestella. All right, we got ourselves a few more crops from Shatola that we can plant in our water area. So we're gonna go ahead and put these guys down. We got some, uh, what's it called? Nectar cane? Nectar cane seeds. So we're gonna put a few of these guys down. And then I grab some more, some more honey flower seeds here. We'll need to get more, but we got those for now. These are re-harvestable, so we should be get a few harvests out of these. Um, and then I grabbed some more more corn that we got back up at the main farm. And we'll just wait for that stuff to grow. We need to find some more stuff to sell, though. We are we are hurting on cash right now. We spent uh, We had a decent amount, but it's all gone now. <laughs> spent it all on crops. As you do. I think I'm going to sell some of these... Uh, some of these eggs. I think some, actually some of these... Uh, rare ingredients that I don't really need right now. Um, yeah, we, we're going to get eggs every day. So I'm going to sell like... Six of those. I don't know what they're worth, but... A little bit of money. A little something something. All right, let's go ahead and head over to Heaven's Egg and see if we can get some of these other side quests done that we had picked up over there in the May. All right, we are at Heaven's Egg. Here's this guy right here. Actually, I'm gonna switch over to this, okay. So this is Heaven's Egg, eh? We've got to find her. I can't bear the thought of her being in a place like this all on her own. It won't be an easy search. There's no use in whining about it before we even started. Let's start by looking around for clues for now. Come on, let's keep going. Let me know if you find anything, no matter how small it might be. All right, so where are we looking here? I have no idea. I'm guessing it's gonna be in the first area. Or not, okay. Uh, shoot, I guess, I guess let's jump to the second area then. Uh, the outer stairway. Nothing here, was it? It's been a while since I've been here, so I don't remember the layout. I'm thinking this is that same first area. Yeah, okay. So there, that's... That's fine. Let's go ahead and check the next area up here. Okay, uh, there it is over there to the east. Okay Shouldn't be too hard to get to Let's wrap over there I don't know if we have have we killed any of these um these fears here yet. I don't think we have Excuse me Oh, yeah the wind things I remember those All right, let's go over here do we need to get... Yeah, it's down on the ground level, so we don't need to worry about being up there. Sir? Nothing here, either. Maybe we'll find something if we keep going further on? That's all we can do for now. Yeah, you're right. If it's gonna be easy for her, then she'd be a back already, eh? Something's coming! Are those monsters? I mean, on the face of it, it looks like it. Huh? There's something caught up on it. Is that a scarf? No, it can't be! Why do you have that? This scarf belongs to Mora! You ate her, didn't you? Damn it! Leave it to me. Gah, fine. These monsters are all yours. 
Oh, you going down, Raf Raffiato? Bam! Get messed up. All right, dead. Next. Uh. Is it hers? Come on, let's go back to Nume. We found what we came for. Uh, we can't give up now. I ain't giving up, but I am done for today. Let's go back to Nime. If I'd just been a little faster, maybe I could have saved her. Feel bad for the guy. Poor guy. Alright, there wasn't anything else in this area, was there? Yeah, I don't see anything else in this area, so we can go ahead and get out of here. I think... I think we'll just bell out of here. It's gonna be save more time using the bell and crafting a new one than it is to... try and find an exit there. Alright, so... I'm gonna try my hand at fishing a little bit, see if we can pull up a rare fish from our little homeland. We'll see if anything pops up. All right, we did some fish and didn't catch anything really spectacular. So uh, just go ahead and sell that stuff and get to the next day. Catch some Argentinian fish. I don't remember if we caught those before. What were they worth? 150 for the rare one I caught. That's not bad. I made a little bit of money off that. Yeah, six, seven hundred bucks on the fish. And it adds up. That paprika made some decent money. Overall, not a lot of money, but, uh, oh, those eggs are worth 50 bucks each. That seems, yeah, that's not very good. Not very good at all. Check letter from Estenia. Estina. Uh, we got anything updated here? We do. A few. Fish 50 times. We get a sprinkler level 2 recipe and a waterside biome level 3. What if that just means we get a better chance for rare harvest? I thought we only need four more for that, huh? Okay. All right. I need to make a new bell. Uh, bell, bell, bell. Where's the bell? There it is. I was looking for bell, not return bell. Okay. Let's go ahead okay? and. Your flying bug friend. Stop calling it that. It's rude. Take care out there. Check the mail. Probably got a follow up. Asil, what is going on? Thanks again for your help the other day. I feel a lot better for having spoken to you. Honestly, but I'm still on the edge. The dragons have started coming out of Heaven's Egg again, and we've no idea why. Do you mind stopping by my house when you have time? I'm sorry to, sorry to spring this on you, but it helps to have someone to bounce ideas off of. I'll see you there. Uh, Estina. There's something I'd like to discuss. Thanks for stopping by earlier. It was nice seeing the children smiling again. It's clear they're still reeling after what happened with Tiella. But hopefully things will return to normal soon. Oh, that's right. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. It's rather important, so if you could come back by the orphanage soon, that would be a big help. I think we are going to go back over there. I'm going to try to just work on getting all the quests done over in uh, in the May until, until they've topped out for now. All right, let me get all the... Uh, the general crop maintenance and stuff done here, and then we'll meet over there. All right, we're here back in New York Step to follow up on the search for that omen. What is up with her? Normally, she'd be back by now. Monsters lurking around here? You better be heading off home. Hmm? Oh, thanks for the concern. But I'm not moving from this spot. Not until my little sister comes home anyway. She's been working in Shatola for a few years now, but it's been long, so... So long since she last came home. I thought we'd be back together now that all those kidnappings and Nemei had riled, riled up got resolved. She's the only little sister I've got, so I want to be the first person she sees when she comes home. You've been coming out here every day? Oh, I still go home every so often. 
I only spend as much time here as I can afford. But I'm worried. I can't remember how long it's been since she came home. She even sent a letter telling me she was coming back. You think something happened? Ugh! Don't think the thought has once crossed my mind. I'm desperate to go and find out for myself, but I can't simply walk away from Neme. Of course. Why didn't I think of this sooner? You're a traveler, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Of course you are. Look, I have a request. I need you to go to Shatola and find my sister. If you're able to find her and ask her why she hasn't come home yet, then that would be a bonus. If it'll stop you worrying. Thank you. You'd be doing me a huge favor. My sister's name is Mycela. You might have some luck asking around the tavern in Shatola. You know her when you see her. She's got a beauty of an angel. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Homecoming. Okay. That wasn't the quest we were looking for. I thought... Oh, I see it. That was just a bonus quest. All right. Um, actually, we can teleport closer here. Oh, wait, there's a bomb wall there I haven't cleared? Yeah, let's go over there. Looks like it's a level one bomb. It's probably something not that important after having been so long ago, but hey, we'll check it out. Are you chasing me? Get out of here. Oh, it is a level two. Gosh darn it. I didn't see the two on it. Fair enough. Gather round. I want to take down one of these floaty, bo floaty boys. Actually, have we taken down one? We may have. I'll take down another one, though. Why not? Okay, they're dropping the meats. I never did finish... <laughs> even coming close to processing all the meat we had. All right, what are these guys even weak to? This one, I think we can handle. Get these guys out of the way first. Uh, I think... Oh, he's weak to wind. That didn't do any good. That was rubbish. Okay. Okay, I don't have any weakness on this guy. That's okay. We're doing big damage to him, though. Not doing much to me. What's going on over here? Why? Why is he obsessed with attacking her? Oh, he is weak to the spear. Okay. Break. Break. See ya. What'd you drop? Ooh, yellow. Simple crush proof ring. I can't even see what that is. I forgot to check on the other ring we got before, too. Alright, we gotta go up here. Hey, it is. Oh, wait. Is that the same dude from before? Omen. All I need now is that one last ingredient. It will be complete. Hopefully it'll work to reduce the symptoms. Huh? Who are you? Oh, an able. What do you want? Are you the one abducting people? Well, when you put it that way, sure. But no, I'm not abducting them. I can explain. It's not my intention to fight with you. Hear me out. Fine, it won't hurt to listen. My name is Regia. Regia. My goal is to stop the spread of the disease which is rampa rampaging through Nemea. I'm collecting cell samples from the bells of Nemea for my research, that's all. What kind of cell samples? I am researching a disease called hay fever. If you were in Nemea, you must have seen the abel sneezing too. That is a symptom of hay fever. 
When tiny particles from flowers spread and into the body, they cause a flare-up and of hay fever. These symptoms are hard to manage, ranging from sneezing to itchy eyes, headaches, and fatigue. In severe cases, they afflicted, the afflicted can develop low vision and have difficulty breathing. Why is it so widespread? No treatment exists at present, hence my research is a matter of urgency. To make it clear, I mean no harm to Abel's of Nemea. Capturing them is the only way I am able to perform my research and find a cure for hay fever. But it's scaring people of Nemea. They will only be more scared the longer hay fever is left to spread through town. They will have to deal with it until a cure is found. If you want to speed up the process, you can cooperate in my research. I should be able to complete the cure much faster with your help. And you'll restore peace for the Ables quicker too. What do you say, will you cooperate? Alright, what do you want me to do? Wise choice. Well then, we have no time to lose. I need you to get a certain ingredient for me. It's called antihistamine. You can get it from a monster called Bloom that lives in Heaven's Egg. I'll be waiting. Man, I was just there. <laughs> All right, we got to go back over there. Okay. Defeat five Blooms in Heaven's Egg. Interesting. Not seen a quest like that before. All right, I want to see what that. Let's see what these items are that we found. It seemed like that was a better version. Deadly Poison Guard 2. These are 20%. So just more of the same? I guess it is. I thought it was a different color. Fancy Deadly Poison Guard Ring. Deadly Poison Guard 2. It's very vague about what it does. It feels like it's good, but I don't know. Oh, poison's really annoying, though, so I might just use that. I think we'll just go with that. All right. Uh, oh, we got some job points. Let's see what we got here. Fighter. Let's go ahead and pick up Blaze, too. Uh, nothing else is leveled up yet. All right, we need to go to... Got to go to Heaven's Aid to collect those resources. I think we'll just go do that. I got to go back to the main and talk with Darrell again. So we can hit that on the way. Um, let's go to Nemei's side. Alright, let's go! I think it'll heal us up when we get to town, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Alright, so... We got a few things here to do in Nemei. Let's follow up with this guy first. Uh, thanks anyway. I appreciate your help out like, helping out a geezer like me. I only if I know we only found Mora's scarf, but I'm really grateful for your help. I got my clue, so I'm gonna go see if anyone else in the brigade will help me with my search now. Mora's still out there. Cheers. You're saying that get, makes me believe it too. I won't give up. You don't mind if I get a bit nostalgic, do ya? You see, before Mora disappeared, I was a rotten piece of work. I had no job, no prospects, a bum that sat around all day drinking and arguing. Definitely bum-like behavior. It finally took Mora's disappearance to give me the shake I needed and change my ways. I figured if I wised up, then she'd come running back with open arms. Well, how would she know? But this is how it ended up. What a joke. It wasn't until after she was gone that I finally realized how much I needed her. Story of many, many tales. Um, find her and show your, her you've changed. Way I see it, I finally got what I deserved. Thinking I could carry on as I was, doing whatever I bleated and well liked. Anyway, sorry for talking your ear off. I just wanted you to know where I was coming from. I'm off. I'll pick up the search for Mora again tomorrow. But I'm starving, so I'm gonna go to the tavern for some food. Odd place to go, since I don't drink anymore, eh? Excuse
excuse me, do you have a moment? Uh-oh. What's all this, then? Sorry to bother you like this, but I'd like to talk to you. Meet me at the observation deck. I'll be waiting. Oh, she's fast. All right, okay. We'll meet you over there. Uh, we need to go hit up... Um, Asil is getting as well. Asil! Hey, buddy. How you doing? Shala, thanks for coming by. I actually wanted to talk to you about some monsters coming out of the Heaven's Egg. Ah, oh, I remember you. You were with Sil last time, weren't you? Perfect timing. I'd like you to hear about what's going on, too. Well, in that case, would you mind telling us what happened one more time? It just happened the other day. One of them monsters flew right out of that Heaven's Egg and chased after a merchant pal of mine. That must have been terrifying. Thankfully, a seal in the Argus Brigade came to our rescue and chased the monster off. Thing is, we haven't seen a monster come out of that there since we went last went inside. The regular inspections by the Argus Brigade should have confirmed that. But it's like the gentleman said, the monsters have been growing more active recently. And now people are reporting sightings of them outside of the Heaven's Egg. But why now? I have no idea. The, mon the monsters are only being sighted on the outskirts of town. But who knows how long it'll be before they decide to break the threshold again. More and more folk are noting sightings and it's starting to cause no small amount of unrest. Which is why I came to talk with the Sill and see if there wasn't anything to be done about it. For now, I'm considering expanding our usual patrol route and extending the hours spent patrolling. I can't say this will be enough to ease everyone's nerves, but for now, it's the most we can do. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for that much. But couldn't you go into the Heaven's Egg again like you did before? It isn't that simple. You mean to say you can't? I'm afraid not. Sorry. No, no, you can't say that. Then you can't. Both you and the Argus Brigade are already doing plenty. That's nice of you to say. Thank you. Let's just hope that all this malarkey calms down after a day or two. I promise you, we will resolve this issue. Please hang tight. Your reassurance is enough to give me confidence, Asil. We're counting on you. Okay, bye. This is the worst. Now the townsfolk are filled with dread yet again. Uh, this isn't your fault. I know that, but still. Honestly, there's so much I don't know this time around. We found out that the dragons were looking for Tiela the whole time before. But she's not here anymore. That should have been the end of it. And yet, here we are, with the dragons giving us trouble once again. And no idea as to why. If only we knew what they wanted. I agree. But we must do something regardless. We need to resolve this issue and put the hearts of the townsfolk at ease again. Now isn't the time to get complacent. Remember, you're not alone in this. Shala. I'm sorry, you're totally right. I can't let myself get carried away by the, my emotions. So I have a favor to ask. Will you come with me to look in the Heaven's Egg? It would be enough for me to go on my own, but I know having you there would be a totally different story. Um, of course. Thank you. For now, we have to go and do as much as we can. Which, right now, means checking on the Heaven's Egg. Let's go and find out if something's gone awry. Right, one step at a time. Exactly! I'll let the Argus Brigade know we'll be investigating the Heaven's Egg. It might take some time to relay the message to everyone, so let's make a trip another day. I'll let you know once I'm ready to go. Until then, take care. Oh, okay, so that's like a... Okay. I didn't think that was actually going to be a quest step. More defense, more attack. Very good. Oh, we got a... Uh, uh, 
uh, combo attack. I forget what those things are called. The break attack. All right, and uh, let's see. Do we have anything? Yeah, we gotta go up there. There's another room for Estina. Right up top above us is a follow-up. That lady, uh, which is over here. Up at the observation area. I guess I should introduce myself first. My name's Mora. I'm Darrell's wife, the man you were just talking to. Wh what? Uh, does he not know what you look like anymore? What are you doing here? I called you here to tell my side of the story. You see, I actually came back to Nime some time ago. What do you mean? I've been staying in a friend's house ever since the monsters released us. Then the realization struck me. Why should I go back to cleaning up after that good for nothing? You heard him yourself, didn't you? That Darrell's been a bum since early in our marriage. So I seized the opportunity to m the moment it rose, but I didn't expect him to clean up and change his, change his ways the way he has. Ne never nonetheless, it's too late to go back now, isn't it? Uh... Thoreau's beside himself with grief. I know that. I've been watching from the shadows the whole time. I thought my heart was going to burst out of my chest when I heard you were going to the Heaven's Egg. The thought never crossed my mind that the silly fool would do something so reckless for my sake. That's why I want to stop this silly charade and apologize to him. I think that'll make Darrell a happy man. Which brings me on to why I really called you over here. I need you to be an intermediary between Darrell and I. I'm too scared to confront him on my own, all out of the blue. That's the real reason I wanted to talk to you. If I must. Thank you so much. Can I ask you to call him to the town entrance? I'll go on ahead and meet you there. I think Darrell said he'd be at the tavern. I'll go and see if he's still there. Okay. So that is back on the first floor. Yeah. All right, we need to get to a thing in bar. Right over this way. Teleporter. Um, let's see. Kind of close to the entrance, right? Kind of, sort of. Let's head over here. Hmm, oh, Shala. Did you come for some grub, too? There's someone I'd like you to meet. An introduction, eh? I don't know what you've gotten in store, but you haven't let me down this far. So who's this person you wanted to introduce me to, eh? Hello, Darrell. Mora, but how? No, none of that matters. I'm so glad you're safe. I've missed you so much. Darrell. Don't say anything and nod. Darrell, look, I owe you an apology. Truth is, I... You don't have to say anything. I did wonder, but then I realized none of that mattered. Knowing that you're alive is enough for me. Welcome home, Mora. I'm glad to be back. All's well that ends well. You went and found my Mora. I can't thank you enough, but I will never forget what you did for us as long as I live. Darrell, you're being overdramatic. 
Oh, Mora, did you wake up with your husband? Wait, what? I must say, I'll be sad to see you go. The house is going to be much quieter with you gone. Ah? Huh? What does she mean by that? Oh, dear. You mean he doesn't know yet? You know, about how you've been staying at my house in secret this whole time? Well, he knows now. <laughs> oh, my. Did I just give this game away? Mora, what is she talking about? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Darrell. So that's what's been going on. That explains why you're looking heavier than I remember. She's been fattening you up. Pardon? Where do you get off? I know you're the reason I left in the first place. You refuse to work, scratching your arse, drinking yourself stupid every day. A useless husband if I ever there was one. Uh, so much for a moving reunion. Yeah, I think... I like to think a good bicker now and then is a sign of how close you are as a couple. I am livid! There's no way I'm going home now! I need a week, no! At least another month to recover. Splendid! Then I can catch up on all the booze I missed out on waiting for you. Oh my god. Huh! Well... They're only happy when they're not together. Tingle rat of seeds. Ooh, some cheese. Nice. <laughs> well. I don't know if that was a good or bad conclusion. Honestly, they may have been better off without me. All right, let's go over there and pick up Asenia, Asina's quest uh, for the orphanage. Asina, I think she's through here, right? Well, she was last time. Where'd she go now? Hi, Shala. You're looking chirpy as ever. Well, I'm guessing you got my letter. There's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. Is there something troubling you? Kind of. Uh, let me ask you, Shala. What would you think if I became the head teacher at this orphanage? I think you'd be great for the job. You think so, too? The reason I ask is because the head teacher has approached me about it. They asked if I'd be okay with talking, taking over the orphanage. They said I have a good reputation. The townspeople and the kids love me. So they'd feel comfortable leaving it with me. But I think they think too highly of me. I'm not the person everyone thinks I am. Because you were the shadow assassin? I don't know what it's like to live a normal, happy childhood. I don't know what it means to feel a parent's love. I was wielding a sword, taking lives from the moment I could string a sentence together. You still got time to learn that. That's impossible. No matter how many books I read or how many people might try to explain it to me, a person with no parents like me will never be able to understand a parent's love. I've been at the orphanage for years now, but at best, I'm just the shell of a parent figure. Someone like that isn't fit to be the head teacher of an orphanage. That's not true. It's fine. It's the truth. You don't need to try and console me. I spent most of my life hiding in the shadows, committing dishonorable deeds. No amount of good I do will ever make up for my shameful past. I can't take back the things that I've done. Might regret not taking it later on. Who knows? I need to go away and think about this a bit more. The head teacher is retiring and I'll have to make a decision soon. Even if it's not the one everyone is hoping for. Don't make any rash decisions. Don't worry, I won't. Come by again sometime. The kids would love to see you. See you later. All right. Crit hit rate. I feel like everything we've been leveling up is all crit based. <laughs> All right, we got another uh, companion or combo skill. 
All right. We'll probably get another follow-up letter on that one soon, too. I'm lost. I hate this house. It's so confusing. Let me out. All right. We're pretty low on stamina. I need to, like... Get some mushroom stir fry. Get some stamina back. All right, we're going to go... Can we do anything with this bell? Aw. All right, there's nothing else here, right? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's head over to uh, Heaven's Egg. All right, now, now we just gotta figure out where we need to go. All right, um, nothing here. So maybe we take the take the thing to the next area. I have no idea where we're looking here. I don't like the way this is one set up for scouting the uh, potential things. Actually, wait, am I supposed to be here? Maybe I'm not. Let me let me double check here. Oh yeah, we gotta defeat Blooms. I don't know where. That's a tougher one, actually, because I don't remember specifically what the blooms look like. I guess we'll figure it out. I forgot that. We're not looking for a location. Just need to kill things. Is that a bloom? Ah, there we go. Okay, so these plant-looking things. All right. That was a good workout. Get, a, get a few materials while we're at it. I guess we'll just run through. That's one. One down. Zombie mushroom. Wait, have I gotten that before? Oh, yeah, we have. Okay. Nothing over here. Let's look for some more. All right, here's another one. These things are so low level. <laughs> just deleted. All right, where's the next one? Here we go. Pop. All right, we just need to... Uh, one more, one more. Not down there, because that's where we started. Maybe over in this corner. At least there seems to be about one of these guys in every pack. Oh, here's a big old pack of them. This will work. Goodbye. Perfect. Omen Ridgia is waiting in New York's step. Take the resources to them. Okay. Just got to get out of here. I think it'll be faster to go this way. Actually, it might be faster to just bell. Is there anybody left we got to talk to at, uh, at Nemei? No. All right, let's just bell and get out of here. All right, head back over to Njord's step. All right, we back over here in Njord's step. Let's go and talk to this guy. See what he has to say. I see you managed to collect the antihistamine. I have everything ready. Now, if you'll hand it over. Done. The cure for hay fever is complete. You collect the hay fever cure. It was effective during the simulation, but the real test is how well it will perform in real life. Uh, I hope it works. All we can do now is hope. We need a hay fever sufferer to give it to. I can take it to the sneezing guy. Oh yes, that young man from before. He would be a suitable candidate. Well then, what are you waiting for? Okay. <laughs> take it to the sneezing man. Uh, I wonder if we can get there in time. I mean, a tight schedule. Uh, Nemei side. Let's go. So where is he? That's the question. 
Looks like he's uh, right up here. Right up here. Sneezing man. Ah, chew. Arg, what will this end? Huh? Oh, hi there. Um, can I help you? I have a cure for your sneezing. A cure? Ha! <laughs> There's no such thing. Stop messing with me. Hey, is that a remedy you have there? It's what I said. Huzzah! <laughs> no, who am I kidding? This will never work. Um, you may as well give it a try. Yeah, I'll try anything at this point if it calmed down the sneezing. Well, here goes nothing. What's the worst that can happen? Hmm. Gulp. I don't think it's doing anything. Are you sure this cure works? Give it a second. Let's see if I can go outside now. It's not instantaneous, my lord. Well, oh ha! It stopped, the sneezing stopped. I can't believe it. It really worked. Finally, a remedy that wash you? Oh no. Uh, someone's just gossiping about you. Oh yeah, they, they say you sneeze when someone's talking behind you. Wash you! Ah, oh, it's not working, is it? It hasn't helped one bit. You got my hopes up for nothing. <laughs> As I feared, the cure wasn't 100% effective. Uh, hey, you're not meant to be here. I won't be here long. I just had to see how it went. I thought it would finally work this time. That's the frightening thing about hay fever. No matter how many new cures you make, they never work. I've been watching the same situation repeat for hundreds of years. And then you thought you had it resolved that quickly? You've got to be exaggerating. I could show you hundreds of years worth of research if you wish. No, uh, no. Actually, never mind. I wouldn't expect an able to understand it anyway. At any rate, I hope you understood that not even our technology can eliminate hay fever. You ought to be careful. It is unpredictable. There are no known trends about who is more likely to catch it. I have never... I have researched age, gender, diet, and various lifestyle habits. I have tried to find some kind of link, but in the end, the cause remains unknown. If we leave it to spread, the world may sooner be, or later, be packed full of hay fever sufferers. Uh, yeah, that would be awful. That is why I'm fighting this war. The war against the hay fever. This was a minor setback, but one day I will finish that cure without fail. It is my mission, my mission to be. So you'll keep abducting people? No, I won't need to. My research is moving on to the next stage. And with that, Abel, I must be on my way. I appreciate your help. I will continue to fight, fighting the cure, the world of hay fever. I doubt we will meet again, but I hope You'll be rooting for me from afar. Okay. So wait, is this... Is this guy single-handedly doing research for hundreds of years, or is that just, like, compiled research? The Hidden Doctor's Expedition. More money, a hey, tomato seeds, and some more flour. Very nice. Always good to get some good stuff. All right, how are we looking here? I think we're all caught up here for the moment. We need to go to, um, where do we got to go? Shatola, Shatola, Coral, Coral Shrine, and Shatola. So everything is directing us to Shatola at this point. Let's go ahead and head home. And, uh, yeah, I want to see if we can make a couple things here. Tacos? Corn tortilla tacos. I haven't made those yet. Nemea meat pizza. Isn't that one of our... Yeah, that is one of our items we need for the turn-in over at uh, Nemea. We got some time. We might as well make this. We can go turn these in tomorrow. Then we'll pop back over to Shatola. So we got that. And then we also have the eggs Benedict already crafted. And then we need... Um, is there anything else here we can make for that turn in? We're still missing whatever that is for the chilled corn soup. 
wonder what that would be. No matter. Um, yeah, nothing else we can make right now. I think everything with the this grayed out just means we don't have oh no wait oyster and veggie udon. That's kid sounds pretty neat. That's definitely gotta be pumpkins that we're missing on those other ones. That's gonna be a fall crop for sure. Alright. Well I think that's gonna be all of that. I think I'll finish out the day doing some fishing and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. See you later. Alright, it is time to call it a day. We feel very sleepy. So you don't pass out right after midnight. That's uh first time I've found that out. Early hours. Probably just can't you're probably limited in what you could do, but at least you don't just pass out. I was thinking you would. <laughs> A little XP, not too much there. Hop juice cotton feather. I don't have that much money. Well the, most of the money we're getting right now is just coming from quests, but you know, we're getting money from somewhere. Check a letter from a sill! Might have one from Asina too. Maybe? Take care out there. I forgot to throw my fish in the box that we caught. Alright, let's put these crabs in here. And we got our pizza and our eggs benedict we can go drop off. Alright, what do we got for mail? Basil, thank you for waiting. I finished my preparations, so let's get into the Heaven's Egg and see what's going on as soon as possible. We're lucky nobody's been hurt yet. It's only a matter of time. What is going on? Whatever it is, we have to put a stop to it now. I'll meet you outside the Heaven's Egg. Cheers. Summer breeze. What? Hey, here's that recipe for you. It's not medicinal, but it should relieve your symptoms. Use it next time you ha your hay fever flares up. Enclosed with the letter are dozens of pages of a medicine recipe. You skim through it, but you don't think you'll be able to make it. Uh, okay. But that, was that from, uh, what's his name? Darrell, a fresh start. I'm sorry. After all of your help, my reunion with Mora devolves into a screaming match again. But just to let you know, we've made up and she'd agreed to come back home. All's well that ends well. I'm going to do better by Mora going forward. And first up is quitting the drink. I don't want to throw away all we've gotten by falling off the wagon again. Oh, good for you, buddy. Maybe if you could just stop being a jerk, that would also help. But, you know, drinking is also probably a good start. Alright, I'm going to do some of the uh, general crop maintenance here. Alright, here we are back in the May. Let's go ahead and go turn in some of these uh, items for the restaurant. Oh, did you bring a meal you like? Alright, let's fill over the eggs of Benedict. Thousand Gorilla. And fancy brown fence recipe and 1500 bucks. Alright. If you know of any more delicious food, be sure to bring it by. Not bad. 2500 bucks, I'll take it. You know all the money we can get. Um, we're at 8,000 right now. All right, gonna head over to Heaven's Egg. All right, here we are. We're supposed to meet uh, a sill here. Thank you for coming, Shala. Uh, shall we get moving? We need to try and find some clue as to what's going on. I get the feeling that we might find something in the Heaven's Egg. Is that an ambush? Look! It's a dragon! So they've been coming outside again. We should kill it quickly! Uh, it's not doing anything. I don't suppose it's just popping out for a breath of fresh air. Uh... It ignored us. You're right. I didn't feel any aggression from it at all. If anything, I feel like it might be inviting us to follow it. What do you think we should do, Shala? Yeah, let's go after it. All right. It might lead us to some sort of clue. There's going to be danger no matter what option we choose. We should follow it. It looks like the dragon went deep into the heaven's egg. Deep? Uh, okay. Um, what about all the way at the back? Nope, not there. Okay, what about here? What are those question marks up there? 
I don't know what all those question mark things are. Investigation point. I mean, that's what we're looking for. All right, let's go check it out. Uh, we got one up here. I kind of want to take out one of these. See if we can take out one of these uh, fears, too. I feel like we should be able to at least take one of them out. Although, this is probably not the best place to take one out. Um... Level. Can we... It. Maybe we can fight this guy over in the corner over here. I want to fight one. Come here. Level 30. It's going to hurt. Oh, boy. Are they weak? They're not weak to this. Hey, okay, that's... We did a pretty good amount of damage. Not enough, though. Oh! Okay, weak to the sword. There we go. There we go. A Rhythma Accelerator. Oh! Damn! Ooh, big damage. Take that. Finally did one. Oh, I need to heal. Hold up. Hold up. No, not that. This. Wait, I need more than that. Why is that not... Oh, the dot is doing a lot of damage to me. Okay. Why are they not taking any damage and I'm getting destroyed? <laughs> Simple sage-proof ring. Okay, cool. That was cool. Uh, I think if we heal up, we can probably take out... I'm going to take out another one. Let's take another one out. I just got to wait for my cooldowns, actually. Once we get my cooldowns, we should put, put some big damage into them. So if we can get another break, just wait for my blaze to come back. We'll just open up on him really hard. I don't know if that first attack counts. Let's find out. There we go. The Rhythm Accelerator! Bam! So much damage. Pretty good. Already got him half health. I mean, there's no point in trying to dodge. I'm just going to face tank it. I'll try to not take that, though. At least the girls aren't taking any damage. Just me. Yeah, it's not bad at all. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, simple magic ring. Amazing that's like a magic damage one. Oh, no, these things. Okay, we know what these are. That's right. Okay, that's... That's right. I forgot that's what they look like. Okay, is there anything else on this map area? I don't see anything, so it must be... Oh, there's still a like, potion wall we haven't cleared up there, too. Alright, we're gonna have to go back. Check a different area, because it's definitely not in this one. I wish they were a little more specific on where to go, because it takes a while to search all these different areas. I need a repair kit level 2 for that one. Yeah, they're still going to make us come back for some of these things, because we don't have the access to these level 2 bombs and level and uh, level 2 repair kits. Alright, what about this area? Uh, don't see anything here either. Okay, then check the second one. Uh, I guess we'll check the next area. I don't know if it would be this way or the other way back. Well, the other way would have been the first area, I think. Hmm, I don't see it here either. All right, let me keep looking. I'll figure out where it is. All right, figured out where it is finally. It's in this midsection. Section 4, Central Culture Lab. Alright, let's see what's going on. Look, Shala, it's the same dragon from before. It's a lot calmer than the others. Like it wanted to bring us here. Oh, there was that one tube that was left, wasn't it? I remember this place. Isn't this where Tiela was made? Stop, Shala. I don't want to think about it. 
Finding a clue to what's going on is our top priority right now. There must be something here that tells us what the dragons are up to. Please. What? Wait! That voice! Thank you. You can go now. There's no way! Is that you, Tiella? Or is she just a copy? I knew you would come, Asil. How could Tiella be here? I have no idea. Tiella, how are you here? Back then, I... Please answer me, Tiella. You haven't changed at all, have you? There's so much I want to say, but... I'm afraid I can't. Not today. What? I just wanted to meet you. And I'm glad I got the chance. Aren't you too, Asil? W wait Tiella! Uh, should we follow her? No, let's go home for now. Why? Are you sure? Sorry, but that caught me by surprise. That was definitely Tiella, there's no mistaking it. But she died in order to put an end to the danger we, we were here in before. So how? What the hell is going on? We can think about it later. You're right. Trying to force the pieces together here won't solve anything. I'm heading back to Nemei. I'll send you a letter again soon. Oh, and thanks again for coming with me. So wait, is there something in that tube? An unexpected reunion. More defense, more attack. Very nice. Another wind rider, wind reader feather. All right. Well, they put us in a bad spot because there's no easy way out from here. Unless there's a, there might be a, there might be a thing on the other side of this wall. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and head on home, and we're gonna call it an end to this episode. And we got some uh, some good little side story quests going on, but uh, that's all the time we have for this one. As always, thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye!